How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to the next episode of the Tome Mage Journey slash Nostalgia Quest series. And for today's episode, we are going to be looking at the next part of the Burning Solstice Saga. So before I start off, a uh, little bit of a tidbit for you guys here. Okay, so I was talking about this in my, uh, I believe it was two episodes ago when we did the other Burning Solstice uh, Saga War Dragons. Okay, so I was complaining about the length of the quest because it is pretty ridiculously long and Cray actually... Uh, pinged me on discord to let me know that the and i quote uh this from him directly okay so for those of you guys who don't know who Cray is Cray is actually one of uh adventure quest's current writers right now so everything he says is official of course because he's the staff okay uh, the length of the War Dragons quest was caused by some unfortunate timing. It was originally meant to be a war, so the content would have been spread out in the usual cutscene progress format, but that summer had some development complications and a whole block of content had to be released as a single quest. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense now because obviously you have the war inside of the name of the quest and yeah i think that makes a lot more sense it being a war and all that so that you can have your standard cutscenes, and then you'll be split up into more digestible parts unfortunately you know things happen i guess the staff was just too busy in order to make it a proper war so instead we had it all compressed into a quest instead so this is just a little tidbit for those of you guys and also i'm very honored that the staff actually watched my videos not just the aq staff but i know uh the df staff watch uh my df videos as well so yeah very very honored that they are watching this all right so now let us go through uh what we will be doing today which is the greatest warrior part one Let's see if we have time for part 2 today. That will depend on how long this episode will take. I felt a call screaming for me over and over again, constantly looking for me. Interesting, so there is still some degree of connection. Of course there is, or I wouldn't have felt anything. I didn't know how to respond. It just felt like something grabbed for, grabbed for me, but hit where I was a moment before instead. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I, I'm not really understanding the English here. Maybe it's just my English comprehension is not that good. Then perhaps the connection is indirect, the source was reclaimed, but what you took from it is not yet fully severed. If I felt something, there's no way he didn't. Of course, we are talking about de a demi-power, after all, and one of the two whose domains are most difficult to undermine, though in his case, I have every intention to. I stole from a god, with your help. Instruction, you told me what you desired, and I taught you how to acquire it. Whatever, to hack with semantics, I stole from him to attack others. They might have slipped, but war? He has to know. He can't not have noticed. They'll be coming for me any day now. And what would you have me do? Hide me. I need to lay low. I could have war himself coming after me. And do you really think I could hide you from a god when you know I must go to great lengths to avoid the attention of all of them? <clears throat> now, powers do tend to have followers, and there is the matter of succession, so it would hardly be foolish to expect some retaliation. But tell me, do you feel anything from that connection right now? No, there's nothing there, just the same feeling of numbness from before the call. That would suggest that you have nothing to worry about for the time being. Though if the situation changes, you are of course feel free to call me on you are of course free to call on me again. Now, do you have anything further to ask of me? Further? We're not done with this. If if your change means I'll be making even more gods angry, then you better start getting it over with. I'm gonna have a problem with you. You are entitled to your grievances, but I cannot and will not foolishly rush my plans over them. I have already explained the importance of free will to their completion. Now listen here. No, you listen to me for a moment. All evidence indicates that war is once again gone. His forces are being reclaimed and scattered in equal part. There is no indication of a prior host of your power seeking to reclaim it. You are in no more danger than before. Take a deep breath and calm down. Okay, so inside of the last episode, a little bit of a recap, alright. So the last episode, we took out war. Pretty much, okay, I don't think that was War at his full power, but yeah, we took him out again and we saw a glimpse of these two people. We don't really know who they are yet at this point, so let us continue. I was in plenty of danger before, but it assured me those two wouldn't notice me if I acted fast enough. A swift and substantial weakening of their domains after a significant investment of power ensured your safety. I would say that the demi powers utter defeat makes you even safer. You are impossibly pretentious, you know that? If you are going to lead me in circles and insult me when I don't play along, then you are wasting both of our time. You seem to have made up your mind before calling on me. So these two seem to be at like uh, loggerheads at each other because they don't really seem eye to eye but you know they are working together because they have a common goal of sorts. Okay, we don't really know what that common goal is yet though. I keep trying to say that war is different. He's got lieutenants constantly working to bring him back, and you yourself said they have some forces left. 
Do you not proclaim yourself the greatest warrior? Surely you can deal with a few scattered minions on par with the power you stole. So that's it then, you're not going to help me out at all, not even you give me the recognition I've earned. I'm going to be as clear as I can manage. I'm not going to act directly and risk divine retaliation to help you out against a perceived threat that even if present should be well within your ability to survive. I highly appreciate your service against famine and pestilence, but a reward was the power that allowed you to assist me. I should have known you for a coward, should have figured you'd leave me on my own. But you seem intent on burning that bridge and convinced that you can bait me out with insults when you are being more reasonable. If you're not going to help me, then you're in my way. I see. Goodbye. I'm going to make it through this. I'm the greatest of all warriors. Who is this guy? It sounds a little bit like Xerxes. My guess is Xerxes, but obviously this looks nothing like Shadow. It could be something that's, uh, it could be a visual cue just to throw us off. I don't know, man. He sounds a little bit like Xerxes, uh, Xerxes pretty com confident or should I say cocky about his combative abilities, but let's see who this really is. I have to survive. I have to fight back. It's good to see you unharmed. We made it here as fast as we could when war's armies let up. That kind of junk learned from last time and made sure to keep us busy. I appreciate the amount of entertainment he sent my way, but trying not to kill our own people made it a slog. He took us much more seriously this time, tried to wear us down before it could be a threat. It looked like he was trying to use attrition to his advantage and delay us until he could finish a new altar. It would have worked too if it wasn't for Esrith. I'll say his crimes as the Doom Dragon are well atoned for then. Jeskimus will be happy to hear this. Gaspar and Sheila told us about that trick you put too. I'm impressed, Tiny, but don't get to talking as if you are as if we are done. What do you mean? You're still stuck fighting panic and carnage for a while after you left, but when most of War's army fell apart around us, they didn't disappear, they ran. That's not good, and it's puzzling. It could mean that they are suddenly powerless or they could also be saving their strength. Either way, I don't think we can let them go unchecked. Right, I have a score to settle with panic for messing with my head, and I rather fancy the idea of a chained up carnage as a warning bell for war. Hmm, here we see Xerxes not obviously uh, on our side and not very uh, happy with war and uh, his lieutenants and all that. But could it be something to throw us off? I don't know man, because that mysterious uh, black shadowy character is giving me a lot of Xerxes vibes. The way he talks about how he's the greatest warrior and all that. If it's not Xerxes, I'm kind of interested to see if there will be a showdown between Xerxes and him. Okay, and I am... I know I've probably covered this quest before in the past. I don't know if I have, honestly speaking, but if I did, I probably didn't read through the story. So yeah, I am basically playing this uh, brand new, fresh from the get-go, uh, knowing completely nothing. So all of this is my guess. If I hit the nail on the head, then yay. If I don't, then well, we'll just see. We've just talked to as many soldiers as could speak to gather reports on their possible locations. We can spread out between them and cover ground faster. One of them is the Green Guard Farfwak Forest Trails. Since you chased, uh, chased Carnage through those, you already know the area. Care to start there? Good idea, let's go hunt some demi flunkies. <laughs> okay, and let's go into battle. Razor Wheat. Okay, so uh, this is not an old quest, which means we have to deal with uh, max level monsters. Okay, our monsters that scale to our level, that is fine, but it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, so we are going to use Neko Transformation, Mechalot Buckler. Let's use uh, Win. What do we have for Win? We have the Big Dictionary. Pets, we are going to be using our uh, Twisted Pig Drake, and I'm going to have it attack. Okay. Alright, let's get started. Uh, let's see, I can use Fire or I can use Win. Oh, let's do Shogun and Nansatsu. Uh, I'm going to use Essence Orb here again, a bit of SC. Probably should have done this before I started the episode, but it doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, now, items will do... Oh, I have Blood Contract here. I did not remember to take it out while I was farming. That's fine, we'll do the Standard Wind Spell. And we'll do Full Assault here. Okay, so we didn't manage to inflict anything, no burns, no bleeds, no uh, choking from the Twisted Pig Jake. Yeah, pretty unlucky. I mean, this is a level 155 monster, so I guess it's understandable that we are not landing the effects. Okay, we got a choke and we got a burn and a bleed as well. Nice. 114. Hmm, decent damage, I guess. Four sword once again. <clears throat> Uh, 
and choking that's good okay and I'm going to restore a bit of MP I could use pixel either here but this is the second fight so I kind of want to save my uh, what do you call that my H save some MP for the second uh, HP for the second fight because if I use pixel either then it's gonna drain off my HP okay so what we'll do is we'll just uh, instead of drinking the mana pot we'll just regenerate normally and full assault this ought to kill it in fact I don't even think we need full assault it's probably overkill but alright done next Chimera, ooh, I'm glad I saved some HP for this one. Okay, this one, water or wind. Okay, so I guess we'll stick with this. This is fine. Um, What am I going to do? I think we can use Pixel Eater a little bit. Okay, and then we'll do Blood Contract. Let's attack. The annoying thing about this is not that he has a lot of HP, but he does a crazy ton of damage. No, 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 the other way around. It's not that he does a lot of damage, but he has a ton of HP, so that's annoying. Right, so, I'm going to drink a mana pot here. Is full assault better or is slice and dice better? Slice and dice might be better. And maybe we'll just stick with slice and dice. Burn and Bleed is looking, is doing some really good damage. Okay. I mean, the first time we use Slice and Dice, the fire attack missed, so can't really tell. See, that's about 400 points of damage. Okay, let's do full assault. Please don't miss. Okay, didn't miss. How much did that do? Oh man, I wasn't paying attention. I think it's around the same, so maybe you'll just stick with the cheaper option. Which is slice and dice, alright. And I'm going to whoops. Oh, I forgot. But uh we got some damage in as well. Lucky gas, that's nice. Forgot to heal out on my MP instead. 248 power, uh no 248 damage burn. Pretty good. Let's do slice and dice. Yep, over 500 plus damage, that's pretty nice. And I think we'll probably need two more turns. Maybe one more. Yeah, probably one more if you're lucky. Let's do full assault instead. Yeah, I think the damage is about the same. Can it kill him? I don't think it can. No, very close though. I think we'll just... Uh, what do we do here? Do the MP efficient one. Done. Should get a full heal after this. 7z tokens always appreciated it seems like carnage might have come through here with his forces no hang on the big tracks are deeper but older reinforcements what was that i'm so not in the mood for hide and seek yeah neither am i oh god it's one of those bun monsters oh man i hate this let's see what random element hits me with ice okay yeah i really don't like the bun monsters they hit with random elements so Going to be quite difficult. Okay, we can try and one shot, I guess. Uh, we'll do damage. We will do crush. Oh, he endured. That sucks. Uh, Doomquake minions will do more damage, so we'll summon Doomquake instead. Uh, Celtic wheel. We try and burst him, I guess. Generalist. Pets, we can do. What do you want to do here? Let's do the Eternal Dragon of Time. I think the choke on this is slightly better, right? Okay, and then we will have Shadow Feeder, but before that... Let's do Arcane Amp. Let's boost up our spells. Okay, let's do Una Poka as well, boost our pets. Uh, I don't think we need Moonwalker, honestly. Should be able to land our hits. Should we do more walker? Yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. Why the heck not? Let's do that as well. Now, Shadow Feeder. Okay. Hold on. Let's gain more SP first. Okay. Three rounds. That should be more than sufficient to take out this bun. Does he have the stupid cute thing? I don't, I don't think this one has, right? I don't think this one has. 
Okay, we are going to find out now, I guess. Blood contract, and I'm going to use my... Uh, what what spell is good here? I guess any spell will work. But I think Silver Lightning Rod, the amount of hits, should be the best out of all of them. Chain Lightning. Nice, okay. Now we switch back to Neko Transformation. Shields, I think we'll just do Mechalot. Chain Lightning again. Okay, good damage. No choke can bleed though. Oh, he endured. That's bad. Endured again. Damn. Wow, okay. Got a little bit of bleeding going. Not a lot. We shall heal up with this. And then I think I want to heal up with this as well. I don't think I need blood contract. I'm going to take a little gamble here. Let's do shocking burst. Wait, no. Let's do, will ball lightning be enough? Let's try it out. Yep, it's enough. It's enough. Okay, so now we just want to draw some mana. And done. Alright, nice. Black, okay, another one. Oh, by the way, someone did mention, okay, this one keeps, I keep uh, thinking about Cyphrax whenever I see this slimy monster. But yeah, someone did mention that uh, I actually have a harm spell inside of the... Uh, Law Master's Tome, which I forgot that I could use against monsters with low resistances. So yeah, thanks for reminding me. I think it was also Maximus who said that. So yeah, I'm sorry if it was the wrong person who reminded me. But yeah, whoever you are, thank you very much. I will remember to use the harm spell inside of my Law Master's Tomb from now on. Okay, so going into our Water Armor, Hydromancer. Shields, let's do Celtic Wheel. Let's get started. Okay, so this one weak against energy. Yep. Earth is okay, but uh, we really want to do energy. So, Meteor Jelly. Let's heal some MP. Okay, so Pixel Eater gain a bit of uh, MP here. And then we want to do... Let's do Essence Op. Let's gain some SP back. And I don't think he should be able to do a lot of damage on us. Alright. And then now we just do our uh, Chain Lightning. Oh, one miss. That's bad. 55 to magic, not very strong magic though. How much damage does this guy do? Ooh, okay, quite a lot of damage, wow. Uh, I'm going to heal up with a HP pot just in case, want to play a little bit safe. Stop 180 of my mana, okay. I think we need to restore a bit more mana here, let's drink a mana pot. Okay, so you should be able to kill him this turn. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restore a bit more SP in case there is a stat roll coming up. You never know when those things might come around, but it's always good to be prepared. And this one, I think Ball Lightning ought to be able to kill it. Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Oh, great. The check's gone messed up. I can't tell where they are coming from. I think the big ones were headed in this direction. Big guy's not over here. Quite a son, he came through here. I don't want to spend all day turning the forest upside down just looking for one war minion, but so help me. Hmm, Dragon Slayer boots. Unless Galanov grew four more legs, these have to be the same minions as before. And these lead deeper, deeper in, not north to Granomore. Dragon Slayer boots, huh? I Could this be someone we've seen before? One of uh, Galanov's lieutenants? Can't remember what his name was. Could it be that, that guy? I think we've seen him before. It could be that guy. I can't remember his name though. Great. They trample enough of the woods as this going one way. Now they'll wreck more going back. Makes them easier to find. But the Dryads and Rangers won't be happy. Huh? Who's there now? Raiders. Okay. This one. Earth. Uh, Neko Transformation. Two of them. Quite a lot of HP. I think we'll do this the proper way. And let's just go ahead and pop a rain. Amp. I think, yeah, 49 melee, de uh, 49 magic defense. I think we can skip on the uh, Moonwalker to save a bit of time. Crush. Okay, nice. We got it. Let's do Essence Up. Let's get some Shadow Feeder going. 
3 rounds. I think that's more than enough. Okay, we just pop away now this back. Let's use Celtic Wheel for the boost. Generalist's Ropes for the boost as well. Pets, I think we'll switch to something that does more damage. I think Eternal Dragon of Time will be good. Probably not. Uh, it's not doing the most amount. Wait, hold on. Which pet does the most damage again? A dead Protean maybe? Okay, inflict vulnerable for Earth. That'll be good. And let's do Blood Contract. Okay, Chain Lightning. Really good damage. Okay, now we switch back to Neko. Okay, one... Oh, no. Okay, fine. One down, another one to go. Oh, he endured. That sucks. Okay, I'm going to drink a mana pot here. And let's do Chain Lightning again. Okay, he has a burn and a bleed going. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Those guys again. I need to check on the Yumezon again as soon as this is done. Now, where are those big tracks? Right, I'll find a way around there. Yeah, it's probably those same guys. Let's see. Oh, that, that same guy that I can't remember the name of. Razorweed. Okay, once again, another one. Win. Uh, pets will do Twisted Pig, Drake, Shogun, and Nansatsu. Maybe you should just do the setup for all the battles. Does that make it faster? As opposed to just doing it properly. As opposed to just doing it normally. Does the setup make everything faster? I don't know. It's easier for me not to do the setup when I'm talking at the same time. Because as you guys know, I am a very bad multitasker. <laughs> Probably prone to clicking something wrong when I'm talking and doing this at the same time okay uh shadow feeder four rounds okay that's good of a rain did i miss anything hmm did the power gauntlet not work maybe it didn't work wasn't paying attention And let's attack now. Nice. Switch back to Neko. Make a lot shield. Uh, let's do. Yep, let's just do full assault. Okay, so about five hundred to six hundred damage for Shogun and Satsu. Pretty good. And choke, nice. Okay, we got a burn and a bleed on it as well. No, just bleed, no burn. Okay, just restore MP normally. Oh, lucky gas too, very nice. Let's just do slice and dice, that should kill it. And done. Right, so we cut down the razor wheat. Next up, what do we have? Fall dryad. Oh, this is the quest of the dryads one, right? Yeah, and I remember that they have some water nuke or something. I... In the, the first time I did this, I think I didn't get to experience their water new as well, if I'm not wrong. But, uh, I don't think we need to because they only have 4,000 health. There's no point trying to eat it when I don't really need to. Okay, once regular humans, some citizens and adventurers have seemingly entered a pact with the forest itself to become wardens and powered by nature. What could have caused this development and made some of them so aggressive? Yes, I wonder too, but... Let's find Arcane M. What do we want to do here? Fire. Okay, so we'll do Book of Burns later on. Mm, let's gain some SP. Please work. Yes. Go for damage. Let's go for a bit more of this. And then we can try Shadow Feeder. I think we only need two turns. Okay, this should be good enough. Need to fire. Let's switch to Underwhelming. And I don't think we need to attack our foes, so we can just eat the nuke later. Shall we just eat the nuke later? Hmm. 
You know what? Yeah, let's let's just do that. Let's just do that. Okay. Uh, hold on. Generalist's ropes will do more damage with imbue. Celtic wheel. Oh, I forgot. I don't have enough MP, do, do I? Okay, so let's gain some MP. This should be enough for a cast. Uh, Book of Burns. Let's attack. Everything is set up, right? Yep, let's do Big Blaze. Oh, okay. And let's switch to our Hydromancer armor. Get ready for the new. Maybe you can do Pixel Eater. 600, right? Okay, yep. This should be enough. In case we face a boss battle after this, okay. Uh, attack. Big Blaze. Ooh, come on. 69 magic defense. Ah, no wonder it's so hard to hit through. I think we should be able to kill her before she does anything. Oh, it's going to be very close. Come on, Underwormling. Nice. Okay, didn't even get a turn. Nice. Okay, five tokens. Fun guy. Another one. Okay. Yep, this one is based off the old artwork, if I'm not wrong. Uh, we will go in our what? Neko armor. Mechalot. Let's start. Okay, weak against wind. So we'll do big dictionary. This one doesn't have a lot of health, so I guess we will not bother with all of the fancy stuff for this one. And ooh, 26 minutes already. Yeah, I don't think we have time for another one. These burning solstice quests are pretty long. I mean, there's a reason why they split it up into two parts after all, so I guess we'll do the second part in the next episode. Okay. Oh, oh my god. What in the world? Ooh, what in the world was that? Wow. I was not paying attention. He can nuke with wind as well. Oh man. Wow, I'm very lucky I did not die to that. Holy crap. Wind was 96%. That, that was crazy. I could have died to that. Man. Wow, oh wow. Okay, Uh, let's get started. Yep, very lucky I didn't die to that. Holy crap, I uh, I would have been pissed if I died to that. Okay, uh, we have to do Moonwalker for this one because the defenses are pretty high to make sure we land all our hits. And we, uh, we don't have a lot of HP to play around with as well. Hmm, this is going to be a little bit of a problem here. Crush, let's hope we get lucky. Nope, already bad luck. That's bad. Okay, damage, uh... Alright, now we try Shadow Feeder, please work. Two turns, I'll take that. Two turns is enough. Please, okay, nice. Weapons, Book of Burns, Shields, Celtic Wheel, Items, Blood Contract. Uh, let's see, uh, Pets, Underwhelming again. This is enough for a double cast. And let's do... What do we want to do here? Just attack. Big Blaze, please. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. I think we can kill him in one hit. But just in case, we'll switch over to Hydromancer. And we'll gain a bit of MP so that we have enough to cast. 653, right? Okay, yep, this is enough. Blood Contract. And Big Blaze. Okay, nice. We did it. What happened here? They met up and fought something. Let's see where they... Girl, did I forget to shower or something? Gog Plant. Oh, what is this? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Let's switch first. Luckily, we can switch first or we might get one shot up by this thing. Okay, so let's bring out Mechalot. The forest has spawned a bizarre monst plant monstrosity in the shape of a god. Its rigid body sometimes takes longer to spring into action than the real thing, but sometimes packs a even more of a punch. Why does it smell like rotten cheese? Huh, okay, wind, light, or darkness? Uh, I think we can stick with wind. 
Let's get started. Strikes with blinding speed. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah. Get it off. Oh, okay. Oh, holy. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Minus 124 BTH. Oh, man. That is not great, guys. Not great. I have a feeling we are going to miss a lot of stuff. Luckily for us, we are a uh, beast mage, which means that. Uh, our pets and guessers, we can rely on them to do some damage as well. So it's not the end of the world yet. <laughs> okay. We can still try. Spells, let's do Unapoka. And let's do Moonwalker's Grace though. I don't think Moonwalker's Grace is going to help us out here. But we'll take every single boost that we can get. Right? Because why the heck not? Uh, bag of Mixed Nuts. Let's go for damage. So we want to try and kill this Gok. Or whatever, any gog monster as quickly as you can because otherwise they'll just do a lot of damage. Oh man, and he has got celerity too. Okay, not good for us. Luckily for us, we can get celerity on our own as well through this. Okay, nice. Looks like we got some. Let's try and push it 3000 HP. Don't think we'll need a lot of turns considering the resistances, but just want to play it safe. Probably in five rounds, yep, more than enough. I think we are going to miss. If we keep missing, we might need more turns. That's right. Okay, so now we can switch to our General Lissus Ropes. Okay, Wind, Light or Darkness. Uh, Yeah, we'll stick with Wind. Let's do Blood Contract. Imbue. Pets. Okay, let's try and choke him. Because I don't know how much damage he's going to do. And he's weak to dark, so we can do Grimlord. This will maximize our damage output. Because we just want to kill him as quickly as we can. Oh, of course. All miss. Dang, okay. That should have worn off already. Maybe I shouldn't have used it on the first turn. What do you guys think? Hmm. Maybe I should have saved that for the, the spell casting for the second turn instead. But if I did, then I wouldn't be able to cast it inside of General Lissus ropes. Or there's a good chance that he might just one-shot me on the next turn. I feel like our pet and guest should be able to kill him. Yep, very nice damage from Grimlord. Nice. Okay, done. Right, guess I'll cut those down. Oh, come on. I saw you do that. I said I'm not going crazy yet. Oh, I thought we had to fight those bees or something. <laughs> okay, that's it. I know panic isn't in my head. I know he doesn't have nature power. So th if this is a giant or even the forest itself, hear me out. I don't mean any harm. All I want to do is find Carnage and drag him back out of the woods so I can lock him up for everything War's minions have done. It's clear that you've been stopping his minions and it looks like he's managed to press on anyways. I'm not one of them. Please, let me see where he went. Thank you. Nice. And... I can't go on any longer that half. <laughs> Better be the last of them. Panic? Great, you. I thought it would be Carnage moving back through here. Why are his minions attacking you? They're almost mindless. Once the control body gives in, there's only pain and power. Only Carnage. They do nothing but follow and attack the enemy. And me? I abandon them. I can't feel war in my head anymore. And I don't want to. Color me skeptical. But <laughs> the last Panic was also free after his defeat. Who are you really? I don't know. I remember this for us, the hills, all of the land, like it was the back of my hand. Names, songs, and battle, constant battle, but the details feel like they've been burnt out. War spent a lot of energy making me so he could go dormant while I brought the others back and ensured his return. I think he wanted to make sure I couldn't falter like Jalak. I think, and this might sound crazy, the forest remembers you too. I don't know, it feels like it's either been taking care of me or luring me into a trap. I keep running into nothing but obstacles and the same empty camps, huts, and villages. Keep feeling, I'll find something familiar around the corner, but all I find are more of Carnage's minions. He's the one I'm here to find. Succeeds is hunting for you all over Majovia, but now I'm having second thoughts about turning you in. Look, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. In the kind of shape you're in, I don't think the forest will let you get very far if you get nasty again. Tell me where Carnage went, I'll consider you neutral for now. I know the brute is heading as far south as his, le as his legs will take him. I can sense him. I thought it was mayhem for a moment. But no, it's the laughing idiot, alright. I have half a mind to chase after him with you. But I actually want to stay here now. If the forest remembers me, it might just be able to make me remember. Ooh, so it looks like this guy is connected to the forest somehow. Wonder who he is. Hopefully, just don't make me regret this hunch panic. 
What have they done to you, Gauguinda? Alone now, for good. Need to regain strength. Once I get my hands on that run, he'll have to lend me his. <laughs> Looking for me? Mayhem? Oh, you're about to get plenty of that. Did they just turn on each other or something? Huh. Interesting. So there is the end of The Greatest Warrior Part 1. We don't really see who it, who this Greatest Warrior is yet. Cryo Dragon Reaver Blade. The broken and carnage infused weapon of the Dragon Reavers. Millions of war is too warped for the normal properties of Dragon's Bane to trigger. But its outer power instead leaves searing burns on a dragon's flesh. So it looks like I can burn uh, dragons. That's nice. This one is the same but nature element. Spells. Yeah. God Plant Parmesan. <laughs> Yeah, to suffer that stench, so not anyone who gets in your way will have to as well, whether they are weak to earth or water. So it looks like a compression spell, it does either earth or water damage, element seeking, sorry. Pinch your nose, close your mouth and clench your spleen before casting. So yeah, looks just like your standard element seeking spell and I don't think any of these items are worth getting so you can pass those up. And that's going to do it for this week's video guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more of such future content. For the next episode, I saw some suggestions from you guys, don't worry I'm reading through all the comments. Okay so, we will be doing both uh, the Safira, somebody su suggested uh, me to do the Safira boss fight quest. Uh, from Darkovia. I don't know if that's... A, I think that's a winnable boss fight. Okay, I think that's a lot of nostalgia as well. So we'll do that. And we will also do the Phalerin's Memorial Quest. Okay, I don't know if that's a quest there, but we'll do that as well. So we have two items in store for the next episode. Okay, and we have time. Maybe we'll do uh, a little bit of something else as well. And if you guys have any other suggestions, of course, be sure to leave them down in the comments below. Till the next time, I'm your host, Korriban Gaming. Peace out.